Greetings! I am Herbert Erpadurp, and today I'm going to build this 28mm scale German half track, also known as a Hanna Mag, which was recently released by Rubicon Models. The back of the box includes a bunch of historical information, a picture of the included decals, and a suggested painting guide. Inside the box is this assembly guide, which, as far as I know, is free from errors. Instructions are simple and clear. You also get a sheet of decals nicely wrapped in protective plastic and two individually packaged sprues. Having a quick look at the sprues themselves, you can see that they're really nicely cast. I'm not surprised by this having built Rubicon models previously. The first step is to build the track sets. Of course, test fit everything first and then glue in the inside drive sprocket. Then glue the suspension and hull side piece to the wheels. And then glue the outer wheels onto their axles. Nice and easy. The only problem was the tracks do have some mould lines. Nothing too horrible though. The next step is to add the axle and suspension assembly for the front wheels. I would suggest leaving this step until later if you plan on adding details to the fenders. Either that or drill the holes out now. I really like this little detail. It adds depth and interest to a small model like this. The track sets can then be glued to the hull. They fit excellently. Now to add the floor. If you want to put seats in, now is the time to drill out the holes to fit those. Gluing in the seats is not particularly hard, but I think it might be a little bit easier if you glue the floor into the hole first. The pieces would line up a little bit easier. The dashboard is also glued in at this time. You need this part if you want to add the steering wheel. The steering wheel is a little bit fiddly to position correctly, but I quite like it. It's a nice detail. While waiting for the glue to dry on the interior, I decided to drill out some of the holes for the details on the fender. This is why I suggest adding the suspension later. It gets in the way of the drill. Still, this is better than having to fill in pre-drilled holes if you don't need them. Now the interior can be glued in. It does fit in quite well, though it might be less fiddly to assemble the interior inside the hull. Of course, if you're going to use the full canvas cover, the interior is irrelevant. At this point, I checked how the upper hull fits onto the lower part. It looks pretty good. Now I glue on the rear doors. You could cut this part in half and model the doors open if you want a little bit of interesting variation. The next step is to attach these side parts with the storage boxes. I then drilled a hole for one machine gun in the upper hull. The rear one will be covered. I checked again to see if the top fit properly and then I glued it down. It fits quite well though there is a small gap at the rear and along the sides. Now it's time to add some details, starting with this towing hitch thing. And then we move on to the front and add this axe. A pickaxe. These bar things, the purpose of which I'm uncertain. A headlight. And the spare wheel. Speaking of wheels, it's now time to add the steering wheels. These are moulded in such a way that the wheel will only attach to the axle in one way, which is helpful as the wheels are slightly flat on the bottom. The front right wheel hub seems to be missing. I'm not sure if it's meant to look that way. I don't think so. I decided that I wanted a machine gun mounted on the front of my Hanna Mag. You can also mount one at the rear if you like, but that would be covered for me as I've opted to have a half open canvas cover, which is the last piece. I've decided not to glue this piece down because having it removable will make painting the interior much easier. Here is the finished product. I'm really satisfied with this model with only a few tiny gripes. Those being the gaps along the side and on the rear between the upper and lower hull. That's probably caused by poor workmanship on my part, but I'll probably have to fill those with some putty before painting. Not really a big deal though. This model was easy to build and it didn't take very long. It's quite nicely detailed and while it doesn't have as many options as the Stug I built last week, there are still plenty of choices to make. Rubicon have two other kits of the same vehicle available. A 3-in-1 ambulance, pack 36, and assault engineer version, which looks quite cool, and a Stuka Zufus, or Stuka on foot version, which looks awesome. I will be purchasing that at some point. If you're looking for something to move your Panzer Grenadiers around the battlefield in style, I think this would be a solid choice. I can't wait to see this all painted up nice and pretty. I hope this has been helpful or interesting for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more, including the eventual painting of this lovely vehicle. Thanks for watching. Farewell.